Hey guys, today I'm making some fun little teddy bears for your pets. Always ask a parent for help before starting any craft. And for this project, you'll need two pipe cleaners to make your bear, and then just the various accessories that you'd like for your bear. For example, this bear has a scarf, which is just another pipe cleaner of a different color, a belly made from craft foam paper, beads for eyes, and glasses made from really thin wire. The thinner it is, the easier it is to work with. Um, and I just yanked this out of some ribbon that had wire on the edges. You can also get thin wire, fairly thin wire, from your twist ties. Um, check different twist ties. They're not all the same, so uh, do experiment with different twist ties. Okay, so let's get started. First, take a section from a pipe cleaner and cut off a section which will become the ears. So maybe an inch and a half in length. Another piece that's a bit longer arms and an even longer piece for your legs. Then take your pipe cleaner that is your full pipe cleaner you haven't cut. Place your ears, what will be your ears, maybe two and a half inches or so from the top. Fold over your ears and just continue to wrap around your ears going on either side. So this time I'll fold on this side, bring it back behind, fold again on the other side, and then bring it up. And wherever I end with my little piece, that will become the front of my face. And I want a little bit of excess just so that the nose kind of sticks out. So just trim. and you have just a little bit of a puffed out part for your nose. Fold in your ears. And if you feel like they're still too big, you can unfold them, trim them, and of course fold them back in. So this is our tiny little bear head ears and nose. Add your arm piece, pretty close to the top, one side a little bit longer, this side you will first wrap around. And for a little bit more stability, you can wrap it again, though this isn't necessary. It just makes it a little sturdier. And then my legs. And there's some lopsidedness here, but that's okay. We'll just trim that in a second. And then I take my bottom piece and I'm bringing it up over the shoulder, folding it behind my bear, and bringing it back up along the front over the other shoulder, and again down behind my bear. And then I'm just going to do it one more time on either side. over and then just trim and then just squeeze that. Now with my arms, again just folding them in, well you could leave them but your um, pipe cleaner will fray so I'm just tucking them in. These are kind of short arms. I could have made them a little bit longer. And then the same I'm just going to trim since this side's a little bit longer. And now I'm folding in <clears throat> my legs. And then just tucking it. From here, we just bring it to life. There's a lot of options for your eyes. For this little bear, I used the tiniest setting on my hole punch to punch out black craft foam paper for the nose and eyes. This little bear, I just glued beads. And this one has little gems, which is what I'm gonna do for this bear. So I'm taking my two little gems here, my tacky glue, and just gluing. And you can leave them as they are or draw little pupils with a permanent marker. 
being careful not to get on your pipe cleaner. You could do this before you glue them, but um, I find that my little sequins move around as I'm trying to do my pupils, so it's easier if they're already glued and they won't move while I color. And for the nose, you can just trim away some of that fur and let that little silver part act as your nose if you don't have craft foam paper, for example, or you can just glue some craft foam paper. And if you like them as is, great. If not, you can add a little belly just with some thin craft foam paper or even just use regular paper or a nice little sequin that I just glued with tacky glue. And then you can also make pads for the bottom of their feet using your hole punch or just cutting out tiny circles of craft foam paper. I used a chapstick lid to trace out my circle. I like to use the super glue because it's secure and it dries immediately, um, but you can also use tacky glue. And then just to make these little glasses, cut off one end of a Q-tip, shape one side just by wrapping it around. And take your needle nose pliers, tweezers, and bend so that you can then weave it back through this hole here. One side of your glasses. Make your other hole right next to it. There, I've bent it along the back, so I'm going to take it through the front. Just taking a pencil to just sort of shape them, trim the edges, and I'm not in love with the space between them, so I'm actually just going to bend it in a little bit, make my bridge a little bit lower, really pull that through nice and tight. And then I'm just placing my glasses. And just sort of tightening it behind the head. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check Rainbow Tinkle out on Facebook. And be sure to tune in for my next project. Oh, you're so tiny and cute. Anyways, time for the show. Wait. Wrong universe. Can you believe that girl, y'all? Crazy. Anyways, y'all know what time it is. Massive shout outs going to DIY everything. Candy Apple A. I'm talking to Quilted Sparkles. LPS Go. Rar. Celine Peterson. And my girl, Freya Westgarth. Thanks so much, y'all.